Yo, what is going on guys? Clutch back again with another video for you guys and today we're going to be doing something very different for the channel. We are going to be doing a meta attackers uh, tier list. Now, we are going to be going through basically some of the best attackers on FC24. I'm going to go through these five categories and let you know what one each of them's in. We have must have, meta, good, meh and don't bother. Now, if you do enjoy this video and want to see this style of content from me in the future, please let me know down in the comments below. As like I said, this is something very different for me. And I'm also kind of struggling with ideas as to what you would want from me outside of tactic stuff. So please let me know down in the comments below. Um, so yeah, guys, we are going to get into it. There's not going to be any waiting around here. Um, now, we're going to go in a random order. We're not just going to do it based on that order there. So we will grab Hanson. Hansen is unreal. Uh, she's definitely a must-have player. Uh, for me, in terms of women's cards, especially attackers, she is the best in the game. Um, she just feels unreal. She's got great pace, shooting, passing, dribbling. She's got five-star skills, four-star weak foot, decent physicals, good Barcelona links as well for a women's card. Yeah, she's just an absolute must-have. And at around 700k, I think she's an absolute steal. Uh, now, we do... I'm going to go... Do you know what? We'll do the women first. Why not? We'll do the women first. So... We do have Sophia Smith. Now, Sophia Smith is a very solid card, and she goes into that meta section for me. She's got 93 pace, 85 shooting. She's got high dribbling as well, and she's got decent physicals, and she has a five-star weak foot with four-star skills. Uh, a very, very solid card, a card that you can't really go wrong with. And for me, she's most definitely a must-have card on FC24. Now, Sam Kerr is a meh player. Sorry to say it for all you women's football win fans, but she is pretty, pretty average on this game. Uh, she doesn't have four or five star skills or weak foot, and her pace isn't that standout-ish either. She does have some good physical stats, dribbling, shooting as well. That's why she goes into that meh category in terms of if you maybe pack her untradeable and things like that, and if you can get her in, you can definitely use her, and she's definitely viable, but she definitely isn't one of the top meta options on the game. Uh, now we will go with Diani. Now this may seem harsh uh, because she is a solid card, but I am trying to put everyone in. I want to use all of the sections. I don't want to be one of those tier lists that makes five sections, but only uses two or three. We are using all of them because we have all of the best attackers on the game. So someone has to be down there. Doesn't mean Diani isn't that great, even though I don't think she actually is that great. But Someone has to go down there, and it is going to be Diani. Between the chemistry links, no five-star skills. She's, she is very small, which for me is a bit of an issue. Um, and I just don't really enjoy using the card that much, but that is just me anyway. Uh, now, we do have Alexia Patelas. She goes in must-have. Now, it, people may look at this <laughs> and go, Clutch, she is not an attacker. She is a centre midfielder. Now, I understand that. But she's so good, you could use her as an attacker. And I refuse not to put her in because she's a joke. Um, and with a five-star, five-star, the card is just absolutely unreal. We're obviously 90 shooting, 91 passing, 92 dribbling. Good defending and physicals. 82 pace, which isn't ideal, but she feels so quick on the ball, it doesn't matter anyway. And with Hanson, if you can get both of them in, they are an absolutely incredible pairing to have. Uh, and she most definitely does go into must-have for me. Uh, now, we are just going to start with the men's. We're just going to grab random players, and Lionel Messi is one of them. He goes in meta. Now, he can't go in quite into must-have, because for me, he doesn't have the five-star skills. He doesn't have the five-star weak foot. For me, you kind of need to have one of those to be right in that top section and be regarded as a must-have card on FC24. Also, the chemistry is a bit of an issue in terms of the fact that he is an MLS, so it does make him hard to link in. But his stats are incredible, and with the RB dribbling stuff as well, he is an absolute joke. So if you can get him in, you can use him, and he will be unreal. But for me, he doesn't quite just sneak into that must-have category. Now, we are going to go with Rafael Liao. Now, Rafael Liao is in the good section for me. He is a tall player. He's quick, strong, uh, but he just isn't quite what you would say meta. He, he doesn't feel quick on the ball in terms of dribbling-wise. He doesn't feel great. Uh, his shooting can be a bit inconsistent. He doesn't have the five-star skills or weak foot. But all-round is a very, very solid card. Just doesn't quite get into that meta section, at least for me. Now, we are going to get the obvious one out of the way. 
Kylian Mbappe, he's obviously a must-have. If you do have the coins, you should get him. He's absolutely unreal. He's by far the best goal card in the game, bar none. Nobody gets close. Uh, he's an absolute glitch. And I honestly don't really need to say that much more about him because he's an absolute joke, and you guys can figure out the rest for yourselves. Um, now, we are going to go on to... Ooh, you go in there. Sorry, mate. You're slow as shit. Your dribbling's not great. Your passing ain't great. But, and this is a big but, you've got five-star skills and your shooting's elite and you're still good in the air. So for me, you do sneak into that meh. But I'm telling you, if you didn't have five-star skills, you're in don't bother. That's all I'm saying. But, uh, right, we are now going to go on to Kvarach Galia. Now, if he didn't have five-star, five-star, he'd be in good. But he does. So he's in meta. He feels very, very good. Uh, he's got the five-star, five-star, as I said. So skill moves are unreal. Weak foot's unreal. And with certain chemistry styles, he does feel quick on the ball. And he can be a very clinical player. Uh, again, if you can get him in for chemistry, an absolute elite attacker. And especially on a budget, I think he's around 30k. He's one of the best options on this list. So make sure if you can get him in, get him in. Uh, now, we are going to go on to Ousmane Dembele, who is a meta card just... And I mean just. He does have the pace. He has the skill moves and the weak foot, which is the only reason he's even in here. Uh, obviously with the dribbling as well. But shooting stinks, passing stinks. And he's weak as all hell. He can't hold the ball, save his life. But with the skill move, the pace and the dribbling, it does make him a meta player. Whether I like it or not. Personally, I've had some issues with him in terms of his shooting. His, his shooting can be so bad. But so, so, so bad. But... um. Yeah, like I said, I, I can't not put him in meta when he does deserve to be there. Uh, now, next up, we will do Erling Haaland. He's in good. He could be in meh. To be honest, for me, I think he might be in meh. Now, for a lot of people, they'd be buzzing to get an Erling Haaland. And I'm probably just a bit of a meta rat. So I, I probably will put him in good for the general public. But for me... No five-star skills, not even four-star skills. No weak foot. He can't move. He can't dribble, like, really at all. Um, it, I really struggle to use a card like a Haaland. But I try to put respect on him because he's, it, the card is obviously very good in terms of he's very fast, he's very strong, he's elite in the air, and he's one of the best finishers on the entire game. Um, so I will put him in good. But he's that, that close to getting into meh. Um, for me anyway. Now, we will go with Neymar. Now, Neymar is the second best gold, to, uh, gold player on the game, period. Uh, he's absolutely unreal. And for the price of about 350k, he is the best value gold card on, on the game, in my opinion. He feels absolutely unreal. He's on the elites of the elites with a five-star, five-star. He's got pace, passing, shooting, elite dribbling. And obviously, like I said, with a five-star, five-star, he's an absolutely incredible player. And he is an absolute must-have in your teams. Um, now, we will go on to Mo Salah. He's in meta. Uh, but actually, is he? Right, so my issue is he's quick. Dribbling's great. Passing's great. Shooting's great. But no skill moves, no weak foot. And his links aren't great in terms of his Liverpool and vibes. Do you know what? It's controversial. He's going in, he's going in good. He's in the top of good. But move. He deserves, he's right on that border, probably with Ousman. But he does go into good for me. Uh, and that's where he's going to live. Uh, now, Musiala. A very controversial one for me. Um, I'll put him in good, just. Um, for me, his part, pace and dribbling is elite. Like, he's unreal. He feels absolutely incredible. But his shooting is one of a pigeon. He cannot shoot to save his life. Every shot I've ever taken with him goes wide. Like, the kid don't have to save it. It just goes wide. Um, and he feels horrific. But he is that good on the ball. And with the RB dribbling, the five-star skills, he, go, he sneaks into good. But criminally sneaking into good. Like, he could easily be in there. Um, but he does sneak in there. Uh, Vinny obviously goes into must-have because, obviously, he's just elite. He's into in that kind of price range of being a bit unaffordable. But... With the pace, the dribbling, solid shooting stats, passing, five-star skills, four-star weak foot. Uh, with the Real Madrid links, Brazil links, he is just one of the most perfect players on the game. And he is most definitely a must-have on FC24. 
Uh, now, our last player. Now, here's another one that sits in between these two lines. I think, and it's hard because I'm a Man U fan. If I'm being honest with myself, he's probably top of good. But I will put him in meta, and that is mainly down to the pace. Very good shooting stats, doable dribbling stats, doable passing stats, and doable physicals alongside the five-star skills. And the fact that he's probably the only kind of style of player like that in the Premier League that I think he deserves to sneak into meta. But he does just sneak in. He probably would be near good. He's really in between that line. There is a few of them. Um, but yeah, guys, listen, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, like I said, please let me know down in the comments. Um, it is something very different for me. And I would love to do more stuff like this. But I need you guys to let me know down in the comments what one is the... Like, if you enjoy the video. And that's really it. Uh, so yeah, guys. I'll see you guys next time.